and honey. So I don't know where my little mallet is. So y'all already know this drill. No, no singing bowl today, honey. <laughs> hey, girl. Hello, y'all. How are you guys doing? So my name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your daily tarot reading, your daily tarot messages for today. So if that is of interest to you, then keep on watching, y'all. But I'm going to go through my usual spiel. Be sure when you watch any of my tarot readings at all, whether it's your Zodiac reading, whether it's your You vs. Them, or any of reading, I feel like this should be, as tarot cards should be there to provide some, uh, some food for thought, something to think about as you go throughout your week, your, your day even, right? So take the cards that resonate, leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be affected by it whatsoever, offended whatsoever, I promise you. And if you find some cards that resonate, I would love for you to let me know in the comments below how they do. Um, and then I would appreciate it for you to take the extra step to give me a like and subscribe to support my tarot channel. I always appreciate it when you guys take that extra step to do that for me. But uh, now that we have your cards, y'all, let's just get into this day daily tarot message. So the card that flew out, which is really going to encompass um, this reading, is the Seven of Swords. So y'all, uh, with the Seven of Swords, I always like to see this as a uh, card. I use like the reference of where it's like you, when you go to the grocery store, y'all, right, and you pick up a bunch of groceries, um, you go through this experience of where it's like, <laughs> experience, honey, it's just taking some groceries from the car. But it's like when you get a bunch of, cro bunch of groceries in the car um, and you try to take them inside the house, so a lot of people, maybe I'm just alone in this, honey, but a lot of people will be like, oh, well, let me try to just make one trip. So you end up like dropping a bunch of groceries in the way because you're trying to just take that one trip and have your hands full. So this is probably a day where you're going to feel a little bit overwhelmed. I'm going to be honest, y'all, right? Um, something to keep in mind is don't uh, you know, like when you, you're kind of making the choice, right, to have those groceries spill out. So don't try to rush things today, y'all. I promise you things are going to work out. I know this is probably coming in from a sense of urgency for some of you guys because of the Sun card coming in. It feels like you guys are in this process with this Eight of Cups trying to get to this uh, Sun moment here. So if you'll notice, both of these cards that are surrounding your Sun there are cards that are kind of walking away, moving on from something. And I feel like you're just in this place, y'all, of where you're trying to really just find some positivity, really trying to um, just find some good right now. Um, so let's get into this a little bit more, right? With the, I mean, the Sun card in of itself, right? Do I really need to go into too much detail? This is a card about, I mean, it's just like the overall encompassing like manifestation, just very, it's an extreme, like it's the best card in the deck just because it's all encompassing just a positive uh, creative card. Um, but the Eight of Cups comes in of where it's like, you're probably wanting to like leave a sit current situation and just going out into bigger and better waters, right? I always like to say that's what the Eight of Cups is for. And really emphasizing it with the Six of Swords where it's like, you're probably not wanting to. Like, there is probably this sense of where it's like, again, where it's like the sense of urgency. And because you have this sense of urgency, um, y'all, it's almost like you're not looking at the actual details of things. You're um, just trying to just make ends meet, almost. You're just trying to make, you crave this positivity, you just crave some good right now that you will just overwhelm yourself, you just take anything that offers you like that olive branch, almost, I feel. So let's start getting some clarifiers for each of these cards, see if we can get any more intel on this y'all this is my first uh video doing this angle y'all with this tripod so i'm really excited for what's to come with this so let me know what y'all think um about this but yeah let's just get focused back on to the reading itself so we have the five of cups coming in uh for your five or six of swords so i love this be <laughs> i guess i shouldn't say i love this because for some of you guys this lets me know of like a you're not happy about this transition. Like, I feel like, well, not that you're not happy about this transition, but more of like a, you're not happy that you're having to transition. It's almost like for some of you guys, maybe you were trying to make something work for so long, and that's where you're getting the sense of overwhelmedness from the Seven of Swords, where you're just like, ah, it just, it's so, it's feeling impossible to like get to this happiness, um, that you're trying to shoot for and so there's maybe even like some disappointment of like washing your hands clean of some type of project or something that you really just were trying to work make it work for a long time um so 
king of wands comes in under your sun card so truly y'all you guys are just in this place <sighs> with this king of wands this is confirming to me you're hoping for some type of project you're hoping for something to pan out y'all and it just didn't and so yeah that is a bummer but we just have to make sure that we don't get too in our feelings about this because that's the something that i'm sensing with this is like you guys are really getting in your feelings um about something maybe just not panning out and because of this I can just not that I'm not saying that you guys are making a mistake currently. Just be aware of that sense of urgency that you might be feeling or the sense of defeat. Don't make irrational decisions, I guess, right? <laughs> eight of Cups comes in as the clarification for your Eight of Cups. Y'all, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry in the sense that you guys are seemingly going through like a pretty rough transition, letting go of some heavy emotions, probably letting go of situations that just are not serving you. You guys are just on this quest of uh, finding some positivity, finding some good in the situation, and it's just... Mm. I don't know. It's it's interesting in the sense of like the sense of urgency that I keep feeling though, right? It leads me to believe that something's happened. Like maybe like the, uh, that's, honey, you know what? I guess we're just not going to use this deck since half of the cards just flew out. Now y'all get to see what it's like <laughs> um, <laughs> when I'm trying to pull some extra tarot cards and they just fly out. So we'll just use this card, this deck now um, to see uh, any final thoughts when it comes to this reading. So let's see. Hopefully we can keep our hands uh, steady enough so we can get these cards. So let's see here. We have the Eight of Wands coming out uh, for you guys. So this is definitely a way of, uh, you guys definitely feel empowered in this situation, even though you're having to let go of things. Um, you're feeling empowered because it seems like you guys are in control of like um, this transition. Even though you don't really want to, you're still like, you don't want to obviously wash your hands clean of this project. Um, perhaps there's a sense of where it's just like, if you are able to appreciate the res uh, responsibility that you're exuding and the patience, then maybe that's the thing. You're proud of yourself because you acknowledge the patience that you need to have when it comes to waiting for this bountiful harvest for this. So it's almost like you realize that this is just a temporary thing, right? You're not getting too in your head about it. It's a bummer, right? But you're not getting too in your head. You realize that this tower moment, which I guess was what I was implying from before, um, you're realizing the purpose of this. You know that you can come back to this tower and pick up the pieces at a later point, but right now you're just interested in um, trying to go towards that light in whatever way, and you just realize that it's not in whatever this current situation is with this tower moment that you guys are having. So yeah, that's the cards that I have for this daily reading, y'all. I love you so much. I just want to wish you guys luck. And um, actually, let's pull a uh, Moon Oracle card as well. Let's always close out these daily readings with the Moon Oracle card. So how are we going to pick this out? Actually, let's do this card. No, we don't want those cards as well, honey. We'll just do this one. Uh, we have the new moon in Virgo, a time to give rather than take. So this is definitely a card calling you guys out on like your mindset. Don't, um, you can't, exactly what I was implying from before of where it's just like the sense of urgency that I'm feeling. Practice a little, just a bit more gratitude, not to say that you guys are ungrateful and maybe you feel like you don't have anything to be grateful for right now, y'all. But um, just check your mindset, raise your vibration a little bit because keep in mind, while we ideally always want to be manifesting beautiful things in our life, um, manifestation, I mean, energy is energy, right? So if it's like we're exuding like a lower vibrational energy worth like resentment or just a sense of urgency trying to recover from something or coming from a place of lacking, that's the energy that we're exuding, that's we, what we end up manifesting. Manifesting. So practice a little bit more gratitude, um, raise your vibration a little bit, do some meditations, right? Put some, um, put things in perspective and just don't get too overwhelmed. Be careful not to get too overwhelmed because this too shall pass. I promise you that you will get to your sudden moment, y'all. You just need to have a little bit more patience with that temperance, but you already know this. So I love you guys so much. If you enjoyed this reading, be sure to check out your Zodiac Kara reading. Um, and then let me know in the comments how this resonated and I'll connect with you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.